Hey, I'm Adam with Adam's Auto. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about welding helmets. Stay tuned. When it comes to welding helmets, you've got three main types. You've got a fixed shade, you get your auto darkening, and you've got the face mask style. And out of these, what I prefer the best is the fixed shade. You will, it has, auto darkening has its uses, but for me, most of what I do is with the fixed shade helmet, because I can see better out of those than I can see out of any auto darken helmet that I've tried. And I used to use a just a simple handheld welding mask for hard to reach spaces on exhaust. But recently I picked up this Miller weld mask and since I got this, I haven't even used this once. Your fixed shade is just like the name implies. It is a fixed lens that will always be at the individual shade that the lens is. I prefer shade 10 for my auto dark or my fixed shades. For auto darkening, I've never really found a shade that I like for auto darkening, but I'll stick between nine and 10. This here is a Jackson W40 Insight welding hood. It's one of the better welding hoods. I've tried both Lincoln Electric's Viking series and uh, I've got a couple Miller helmets and neither of them I was really a big fan of. They always seem too bulky for my preference and the headgear just wasn't comfy. The little hand shield is cheap. A lot of times comes with a lot of the Chinese welders. This one came with my little uh, plasma cutter and has actually held up pretty well for about three years of heavy use. And then my Miller weld mask just has the uh, elastic strap here that goes around your head. I do recommend wearing a hat without, without an opening. That way it protects your head. Uh, some people claim that these have an issue with fogging up and I did experience that, but I found out it is because if you're not careful when you unbox them, you can pull out these anti-fog uh, strips in there and those actually prevent it from clogging up. If I could only have one welding helmet, which would it be? It is something I've been asked before, and for that, I always choose my fixed shade welding lens. Because for most of what I do, that'll get you by for just about anything I that I do and most people will do. Plus it's also the cheapest. And I also get asked uh, what helmet would I recommend and what I would recommend is get the best helmet you can afford that is also comfortable to you and has a decent clarity. You don't have to go out and buy the most expensive helmet. You don't have to buy the newest and greatest thing that you can get by like I've shown with a fixed shade helmet for most of your career. There are only specific things I say an auto darkening comes in handy for and most of that is going to be if you're tacking stuff a lot or if you will be doing like roll cages or exhaust work then I'd say something like a auto darkening or especially if you're doing roll cages or uh, exhaust these Miller face shields just cannot be beat. So if you have any other questions about welding helmets, you can always ask them in the comments below. Until next time, keep on welding, folks.